digital journaling kit called A Very Retro Christmas by Angie Robbins, and I will put all of her links below. She just asked that I make a journal and a quick video, so everything you see in this journal will have come from her kit unless I say otherwise. I tried not to add too much because I really wanted you to get a feel for her kit. I used, it's a soft cover journal. I used a file folder for the cover. I used my uh, Silhouette Cameo to cut out Santa's belt buckle and the date and use some embossing powders to give it the gold look. This did not come from her kit. I put these in all my December daily albums to keep track of events. I'll either write them in or include a mini picture and that also lets me know what date to turn to. And behind here, this is a list of prompts for photos for the month of December. Angie included naughty and nice lists, so I put the nice list in the front. I coffee, coffee dyed some copy paper. These embellishments are all from Angie's kit. Uh, this is my own washi tape, but these are all from Angie's kit in the little private journaling spot there. The tag came from Angie's kit. These are just some stamps and stencils that I had, my washi tape. Um, I always like to include, this is a little digital printable of the original version of Twas the Night Before Christmas. So I always put those in my journals and I made a little shaker pocket. That little gingerbread man is part of Angie's kit. And then I just put a bunch of different glitters in there. This page is from a book I had purchased just for additional pages for my December dailies, and so I included that in here. This tab is made from, one of the pages Angie includes has is a sheet of poinsettias, and I used that to punch and make tabs for some of the pages. Um, this is from Angie's kit. This is just some lace I had and I sewed like snowflake stitches on here to make a tuck spot. And I sprayed this page, some of the pages with water just to kind of give them a more vintage look. Um, this is the other side of that envelope and I tucked one of Angie's um, little cards in there that came in the kit. And this is just the parchment paper that I used to line the sheets when I did the coffee dyeing of the copy paper. And so I just kind of stuck it in there. This, this was a Tim Holtz burlap stencil I just did with gold ink. These are just some corner punches that I had. This is the center of the signature. This envelope also came in Angie's kit and I just, these were not from her kit. I just used them to cover the ends of the string and inside here is some more of the ephemera that came in her kit so that I didn't want to do the entire album. I wanted people to have freedom to decorate some spots. Um, I made a pocket out of these two pages and then here, here's, this is from a kit I had left over from last year, but you can cut out the, the numbers and so that you can date, you know, this was December 1st, whatever, and that's how you'll correspond with the table. And then there's some more of her ephemera in here that I left. I didn't want to have all the fun and not leave anything for anyone else to do. So those are some more. They're kind of tucked all throughout the journal. This is her page. This I just ripped a page out of an old dictionary and put some old linen behind it. And this was the word joy, joyous, joyful. I used my sewing machine to stitch around the edges of this page haphazardly to give it kind of a vintage retro look. Retro. This is just. I got these little bells at Michael's and I had these pins, clips. This was with a Tim Holtz, the sweater stencil. I coffee stained this doily. This is a piece from Angie's kit and I just used some ink to grunge up the edges. And this is another little tab I made from her poinsettia page. And this is from her kit and I just added a little ribbon that I tied into a bow. And these are also pieces from her kit. I just tucked in a little tuck spot. This is not from her kit. It was just a stamp I had, so I made a tag and put a little ribbon on it under this tuck spot. This card is from her kit. I added a button. This is my own washi. This was part of Angie's kit. It's another corner tuck spot and a journaling spot. And this is some more of her ephemera. So cute. Um, this is just another page. These are all from her kit. 
and I just added a little jewel and some ribbon back there and another stamp for some journaling space. This is the other side of that book page. Just added a tab with a button. Um, these, I used four different types of paper in here when I printed. There's regular copy paper, there's cardstock, there's a thicker, brighter, wider um, copy paper, and then for these I use Tomoe paper because when it's old, like receipts and recipes, I like them to actually feel like the original, and when you print on Tomoe paper, it just feels like you're holding the original piece. So. Um, I stuck them in this pocket, but they could be used to decorate any way that you want. And then this was not from her kit, but this was from her kit. And these are from her kit, and so I just made a belly band and stuck that card in there. Um, these here, I just made a waterfall. These could be photo mats or, you know, added journaling spots and then some private journaling here. These pages were left over from last year. These weren't from her kit, and that's just some washi. Um, here, this isn't from her kit. I just liked, it's a nice little poem. This page is from her kit. And I made the belly bands out of cardstock, and I used a Martha Stewart edge punch on both sides to give it a lace look, and then just a piece of plaid paper down the center. Um, here's the naughty list. And then I just did a for a spot to say Happy New Year since it was the end of the journal. I made a tag from some leftover paper, stamped it, added some stickers. Those paper flowers were gifted to me and I just added a jewel. That is it. The back, this is also hers. So the cover, I used her paper and I mod podged it down so that it has a little bit of a shiny look, but it also almost looks painted because I just made a mess of the brush strokes on purpose so that it had a nice painted look. So that is the journal that I made with Angie's journaling kit. And like I said, I will list everything in the description box. I'm going to list this journal for sale on eBay and I'll put that link in the description box as well. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.